Hello again, Dr. Jason here, board certified naturopath. Let's get into some more foundation, shall we? Let's talk about food. Obviously, food is one of the most controversial topics. We could we have people going like hardcore, all vegan, no meat. We have the carnivore group, you know, way over here. Um, man, isn't that confusing? And people are so stuck to their camp, you know, they're so stuck in, uh, you know, no meat. You know, I've seen it cause cancer, and then the people eating meat are like, no, I've seen studies that vegetables are there to kill us with all these, you know, um, different chemicals. Well, what's the truth, right? The truth is, again, I always use a foundation of anthropology in my practice because we can really cut through all that noise, you know, and I appreciate uh, those on both sides. There's very educated folks, you know, with the, with all vegan and all carnivore for sure. Uh, I mean, very educated. I mean, they know their stuff as far as scientifically. And here's what I found, though, when you really think about it, they found what works for them and maybe a handful of patients or clients. And I appreciate that. But that doesn't apply to all of us. We're not all carnivores where we can only eat steak all day. You know, a lot of us would just feel like crap, uh, me included. You know, I'm a, I'm a bigger guy. I've lifted weights all my life, you know, a lot decent amount of muscle. Um, I'm actually not really drawn to protein. So what am, what am I saying? Uh, you, you really should work with someone because food is so huge. We really have to you know, work with a practitioner to really dial in what, what's right for you. However, use your gut instinct, literally. If it hurts your gut, stop eating it, right? If you feel better, more energy, uh, you know, you're less groggy, um, probably go that route. Obviously, we're not talking about processed food. We can't say, hey, I had, a, I had eight tacos and I feel amazing. Uh, we're talking about real food here, folks. We still got to eat whole food most of the time. But I'm just saying, you know, go a little bit more intuitively on how you feel. Um, do I think uh, any extreme is, 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 good, is not good for most people? Yes. So, but do I do think we need some protein? Absolutely. If you're someone who philosophically has a problem with eating meat, no problem at all. You know, I work with all kinds of vegans, vegetarians, no problem. But you got to be, you got to remember there is a tremendous amount of um, nutrients you are missing. We've got to replete those. You've got to have targeted supplementation and not just generic, hey, all vegans need this. You've, you've got to have a, work with a practitioner to figure out what your body needs. You're going to be different than everyone else. But in general, those that don't eat meat are going to be, have a lot of problem with minerals. And you might be thinking, well, wow, I eat a lot of vegetables and, and you know, um, basically things from the ground, right? Well, remember, our soils are likely, are largely depleted of minerals, okay? And the concentration of minerals, guess what? It's in animal fats and animal tissues. You gotta remember that those animals, for example, a cow eats a huge amounts of, of grass, even though it may be mineral depleted, they eat, you know, gallons of it a day, right? They're gonna get a lot more minerals than, than we can. We can't possibly eat that much, so keep that in mind. Uh, targeted supplementation, but getting back to setting up, uh, not not really. Let's talk about use the word diet. Let's talk about a eating strategy or nutrition strategy. Okay, one of the best I've ever found. Going back to again my anthropology uh, research and and um, and all that science is paleo. And I again I don't want to paint with a broad brush, but generally speaking, if you had to pick one eating pattern that works for the majority of people, because why? Our ancestors thrived based on anthropological studies in the Paleolithic period. That means we had greater advancements in our in our bone structure, surviving our environment with as far as how many tribes were out throughout the planet, how uh, the size of our brain growth was all throughout this Paleolithic period. So do I put everybody on paleo in my practice? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that. I'm not the paleo guy. Okay, I don't I don't wear labels like that. I don't believe in those. I find what's what's right for each patient or each client uh, through very uh, calculated testing and, and just a lot of legwork, a lot of due diligence. However, again, if you're not working with someone, Paleolithic is going to be one of the best things you can do. So I highly recommend you spend some time with that. Uh, I love Dr. Sarah Ballantyne's work. She's called uh, Paleo Mom as her, as her alias or avatar. Check her work out. Really got some, she's get, reviewed over 1,200 scientific papers on that type of eating pattern. So uh, just keep that in mind as far as food. But in general though, guys, Again, we don't want to be grazing all day. In my opinion, it does keep uh, insulin elevated in the blood levels uh, all day because insulin is a satiety hormone. It also helps balance other things in the cell, so it's always going to be secreted. So we got to try to three, you know, try to think of that three meals a day. Um, and again, some people can do great with with intermittent fasting. Experiment a little bit, but keep that in mind. Let's try to get out of the extremes and think about, hey, what 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 do I feel good consuming? Do I need a little bit of protein balanced with some clean carbs and some veggies? You know. Think, think of what works for you and then create a plan. And again, if it's confusing, get with a practitioner and we can help you dial that in. Okay, stay tuned for more Naturopathic Foundations.